everybody. I want to show you a woolly worm, woolly booger. He's one of the ones that you can kind of predict the weather by. So, but on this one, you can see that he's pretty dark. He's really dark. You got some light mixed in with him, but he's tired of me, so I'm going to leave him alone. Hey man, how you doing? But uh, yeah, I seen him while I'm doing this little walk trying to help strengthen my knee. I have discovered something about my bicycle that has weirded me out, to say the least. Uh, hang on. Well, let me pick up where I left off. I have discovered something about my bicycle that has got me a little perturbed, uh, a little dumbfounded, but I've been riding on a bicycle with the seat too low. And I hadn't told, I couldn't tell, but I guess over a period of time, it, it had went down a little and a little and a little. Well, when I got my hands on the right size Allen wrench, I found out that it had went down a lot. Now, I don't know how much, but because I the place I had it marked at is gone now so I'll make a video showing what it looks like and how it, I knew I was getting a kneecap right on this kneecap I was starting to get a pain from riding it's right in here and I just knew my seat hadn't moved I just knew it hadn't moved so that's how wrong a person could be. Now I've had all this work done at A and B Cycle, but never asked to check, you know, my fit. And ah, uh, uh, so needless to say, I may have to get uh, fitted, or I may get lucky and just raise it and lock it down, and it's perfect. You never know. Now, I'm going to try to raise it myself and test ride it. And see how I feel but I can tell by once I pulled that seat post up I could tell that it had went down on me to the lowest position and even more it low uh, I was wondering why my kneecap on my right leg was doing that you know like a little bit of pain and now I know darn all right well that's the point of walking is to help strengthen some of these muscles that a cyclist doesn't use sometimes um, you know we get in this one modality where we're, we're riding all the time and we don't think about the fact that we're using uh, other muscles when we're walking so in my thought it's then I'm going to incorporate these I got this beautiful walk trail why not it's beautiful now i do do a little bit of a fast man walk you know it's <laughs> it's not a run but no stretch but um who knows maybe i can increase it a little bit but i'm really careful on not damaging my knees i've re rebuilt my left knee cartilage ligaments everything it's the last time it was it did an mri the doctor said that I had the meniscus of a, a much younger man, and I want to keep it that way. All right. Hey, everybody, this is Buddy. Well, this is my new friend. What's your name? Lucas. Lucas. All right, that's his skateboard. He was telling me that his bearings ain't quite hitting on what they once did, but he can still skate. Been skating for a while, Lucas? No, nah, not really. Yeah, you said you were more into BMX. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm going to drop a hint to him. If I was his age and I was talking to myself, knowing what I know now, I would tell him, start a YouTube channel. Because in the future, YouTube channels are going to be paying just as good as they're paying right now. There is plenty room on YouTube to make money for a young person. And I told him, like, if he started a YouTube channel now, before he knows it, he'd be in high school, going to high school, making 
maybe 5000 a month. He could do it. If he's got the talent and the skill, and he was telling himself that, like I could have wished I could have went back and told myself that, but I'm passing it on to him. Let's see what Lucas does. He might he start his own YouTube channel. All right, man. Hey, everybody. This is Buddy. I'm on the outside of the OC. I have never seen this. I've been busy riding the bike and doing other things, so I haven't been to the OC in quite a while. But uh, I don't know how old this is. It looks like it's been here a while. But it works on a point system, so I'm not sure exactly how that works. But if I find a link, I'll put it in the description. But if you got one of them electrical cars, you could come up here and plug in and you swipe it. And it, it works off of points. Huh, I don't know if you can see the screen, but it gives you some information there. But that's where you swipe it, right there. Yeah, see, he's fixing to swipe his card. Look at the screen. Yeah, boom. All right. It's not only good for the employees, it's actually good for our customers. They want to see a company that's focusing on sustainability. And when I go into work and see row upon row of EV charging, it definitely makes me proud from a company standpoint. We decided to make it easy for them to go to work without having to worry to charge up their car. And we chose to go with ChargePoint. We make it easy for businesses to put in EV charging to take care of their employees or their best customers. The ChargePoint stations are very user friendly. The employees come in, they badge in. They can either charge right then or they're put in a queue and they're notified when they can go down and charge. The demand is very high. The user base is growing so fast. We're getting a large amount of feature requests coming in left and right. The end goal is to make sure that the experience for the driver is the best, just the best mobile experience. It's let us just take care of the whole thing. If there, in the unlikely event, is a problem with the hardware, roll a truck out without you even knowing it and fix it. I don't remember the last time we had a charger that was down. We have some really great reporting capabilities that helps inform business owners, okay, here's who's pulling into your station, here's how many greenhouse gas emissions you're saving, here's how many employees are actually taking advantage of an amenity that you're investing in. They're thinking about how are they making their employees more productive and successful in their commute coming into work? What else are they doing um, once we get inside those walls? I think just having EVs here helps retain our talent and helps us recruit employees. The stations have sort of become an icon. It stimulates all the right emotions in someone, in the alignment with the value system of where they're spending their money or investing their career. Seeing other businesses that have charge point stations, to me, signal progress. I actually grade all my vendors in my head. ChargePoint's definitely an A, a perfect score of an A.